He has experience in the Coral Springs and Margate area, if you want to visit him. And he's combined chiropractic, acupuncture, homeopathy, nutrition with computer astral biofeedback. Uh, new possibilities are available for many health conditions. Dr. Fruithander will bring the uh, biofeedback machine, which he has tonight in the corner, and he'll be able to do uh, as many as he can do. We have to be out of this uh, by 10 o'clock tonight. And so he's going to fix a couple volunteers to do that and show you how the machine works. It measures the body's energetic systems using biofeedback and homeopathic frequencies. In some cases, laser remedies can be done right on the spot. If you have an extremely difficult condition with no prior success, you might want to, uh, don't want to miss this presentation. You don't want to leave early uh, because he's got his wealth of knowledge and he knows the two docs that I work with. And we've got Dr. Danny speak here and Dr. Diamond before, so let's give a big hand to Dr. Fernando. Thank you for having me. Uh, it, it's a pleasure. I do bioenergetic medicine, which is energy medicine. Now, the bottom line with energy medicine is that everything about us I do bioenergetic medicine. Uh, I started out as an acupuncturist and applied kinesiologist. What you're going to see tonight is computerized acupuncture meridian therapy, computerized homeopathy. What we're doing with technology is taking 5,000 years of knowledge and sticking it into a computer which can compute things a lot faster than the rest of us. As a kinesiologist, I test body systems or muscles. So if the deltoid was weak, it relates to the lung meridian, okay? Which would mean that if I had a weak deltoid, I would probably have, uh, I could have a lung problem or it could just be a weak deltoid. Now, with everything that we do here, we're not diagnosing a specific disease. What we're doing is we're determining where there's a weakness, where your body isn't responding the way it should to stress. So what I'm gonna ask for is, uh, four volunteers to do one thing, and one volunteer who, which we'll use for the assigner. Now the assigner pretty much is gonna tell us what's going on with that person. I'm taking a big risk. I've never seen any of you, and I don't wanna know any, any health conditions that are going on until we're going along, and see if the diagnostics correlate with that particular person, okay? So do I have any volunteers right off the bat? Okay. Take, take a volunteer for the Asira, and then three volunteers to stand up here. All right. Okay, so the, uh, the three people I want, I want you to come over here because I have to talk on the microphone. In energy medicine, everything is about frequencies. Okay? Now, I don't really believe in the internet, I don't believe the cell phones work, because there's no way I could talk to somebody in China real time. It's all made up. The internet, forget it. You can't have five billion computers going through the air, not being able to see anything. Well, 20 years ago, if I did what I'm about to do, you'd say there's no way. But today we know, in the last 20 years, the internet is everywhere. Cell phones are everywhere and cell phone frequencies are going everywhere. Wherever you go and your phone rings, was that frequency just there for the moment or has it been there the whole time? Is your phone always doing it? How did it find it? How can we, each one of us have a, a cell phone and yet when somebody makes a phone call, they all don't ring? It all has to do with how the frequencies are maintained and operated. So we're gonna look at the body as if the body is a computer system. Okay, so my three volunteers come over here and then take your desired volunteer and just input the information. Okay? Uh, okay. So you stand here, you stand here, you stand here. Okay. So kinesiologically, I'm just gonna do a real simple test. Does everybody have a good left shoulder to touch? Like, okay, push up. Michael Rock, right? Stand on your right foot. Push up. And you fell right over, right? Okay. Same thing here, good shoulder, push up, like a rock, stand on your right foot, push up, fill right over. Then I push down hard, not at all, okay. Okay, so we're gonna do the other shoulder, okay. Push up, okay, bad volunteer. <laughs> well, tell you what.
up. We're, well, we're still going to do this, okay? So what I want you to do is put your arm here. You put your arm on him, right? And now I'm going to test him, right? Push up. Good. And stand on your right foot. Push up. And he fell right over, okay? Now, we've seen this in the past with magnets. This happens to be an energetic product called life force. So I'm just going to have her hold the life force, put her hand on him. Okay, now you put your hand on him. Okay, now stand on your right foot. Push up. <laughs> okay. Okay, now put your hand on him. Put stand on your right foot. Push up. Okay, now she couldn't do anything before. Let's see if she can do something now. You might be able to. Okay, stand your right foot. Push up. Push up. No strength. Okay, so she's going to be a good one for us to test here. But, yeah. Okay, no, not even the balance Okay, we won't, get, we won't get into that one. I like to, I need a test muscle in order to make the thing work. Okay. <laughs> now, in the office, we don't need a test muscle, but a huge difference, right? Okay. That was energy. This energy, just in this bottle, I can do that pretty much with most people. It will instantly balance their systems. So, my point was, I've done this where I've had you know, 90 year olds lined up and we just picked them off one at a time. And they were all like, whoa, what's going on? So, life is about balance. What we're going to do with the Asira is balance all of the energetic systems instantaneously, but we're going to customize it. A product like this is an energetic product that will tend to bring about balance. This one is good for clearing the mind, lowering blood pressure, normalizing blood sugars. It's designed for what we call syndrome X or metabolic syndrome. And metabolic syndrome, unfortunately, is like our age group. It's the 50s, the 60 year olds, where all the weight goes to the belly, you get tired, brain fog, that's metabolic syndrome X. But that's for another lecture. Okay, thanks. Okay, we have a volunteer here. Do you have all of our information in the system? Yes. Okay, can everybody see this or am I still on the way? The technology is frequency medicine. Okay, in the late 50s, early 60s, there was this little company called NASA. Nobody knew what NASA was, but you know, they were getting ready to do all this stuff from the chimpanzees up to the space, and they wanted to test, and they tested everything and anything. And this Dr. Vol was doing testing, and what he found is he found frequencies that they didn't know what they were. He just knew that they were frequencies. Over time, what he found that these frequencies related to specific tissues. He was able to measure the frequencies, and he started to label them, and, he, and then he correlated them with the acupuncture meridians. And in the next 40 years, we had many different frequency devices or electrothermal screening devices that have come out and were able to test people and give us information. And they became more and more sophisticated, just like our computer systems did. This is in its infancy. Energy medicine is, is just at the very start. What you're going to see is incredible. What I've seen in the office is unbelievable. But understand, this is growing. There's a lot of questions that are unanswered. But I guarantee you, this is medicine of the future today. And every day is going to get better if you get more specific. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to run a scan on her, and you're going to do a comprehensive profile and an emotional profile. You know, the capabilities here are, are pretty intense, but a comprehensive profile checks the general hormonal system, the general allergies, it tests all the meridians, it tests emotional, and it even comes up with chakras. And it's going to come up with just the items that are the most important for the moment. And hopefully you have a good shoulder, do you? But I can test your left shoulder? Okay. I can, the reason is in this environment, when I get muscle test the shoulder, that's when you see the difference. My favorite people to do, and I'll probably do it next, is this big guy here. Because the big guys go like this, they don't do it on purpose. 
and it goes weak. It's like, you, you know, the face is kind of drop. Um, I did Jason Alexander with this a few weeks ago, and um, then he went over to my wife and started doing the whole story. So she felt like she was in Seinfeld, and he was like, you know, going through, let's start forgiving this, this, this. It was really funny. Uh, he had to be there. Uh, okay, is it ready? Yeah. Okay. Do the EFT and the comprehensive. Okay, so the first thing that this is going to do is it's going to go through all the body systems, okay? Her adrenal glands are stressed out. Yellow is chronic. Red is acute, okay? So she has central nervous system residence, which is a chronic issue. A problem with the colon. She's full of and uh, joint issues, which is pretty common in your age, and pancreas issues. So pancreas typically is either digestive or insulin. And then it came up small intestine as well. We'll hit those in a minute. Uh, those were the acupuncture meridians or the, that were off. And meridians were named after organs for a reason because when there was a problem, that meridian it tended to be a problem in the organ system. So the meridian can be out of balance, but it doesn't mean that there's a disease in the organ, but there's usually a weakness. Every meridian or energy channel has an associated muscle. There's a lot of interconnections. And what we'll do is we can, we can test specific muscles. So uh, right here, comes up. OK, now what it's going to do is just to show you what the reds are. The reds are acute issues. It's things that are more inflammatory. And they are all numbered on the side as being higher than 55. So what they're doing is they found that the frequency of liver, and how did they find that? They put a liver on there. and they. They, they scanned it and they came up with a, a, a magnetic signature. And they said, okay, that's the signature of liver. So now, if the frequency is between 45 and 55, that's normal, just like blood work. If it's under 45, it's a chronic problem. And if it's over 55, it's an acute inflammatory. So the acute ones are red and the uh, chronic ones are yellow. Now, when you see those little squares pop up, what it did is it said, okay, went in and it said, okay, I found something wrong with the hair, right? So then it says, we have 100 remedies for hair. And it then sent in frequencies that would fix the problem. And that's what all the squares are. So there, there was only like six. Other times you're going to see a pile of squares. There's like 100 different tests are being done to find the frequency that will balance the problem. Now, this is what makes this unbelievable. Everything has a frequency. It puts the frequency out, we can now read them. There's a normal and there's an abnormal. If it's abnormal, we can now send in other frequencies or homeopathic remedies that will balance it out. And, and, and not only do we know that it will balance it, that when they connect, they create resonance. The computer says that's the right one. It puts it on hold. And that will be all the positives that you see there, that all of the balancing items are the remedies that already worked. So instead of guessing, well, you know what, I think your hair is really blonde, this will say, OK, you know what, the hair is right or it's wrong. If it's wrong, it tests, it finds what's missing, and then it corrects it, and it has the balancing remedy and puts it on hold. Next thing we know, we can give you a homeopathic remedy that over the next month will clear whatever issue you happen to have. She always wanted to be blonde, right? OK. <laughs> um, OK, so now. Can everybody see that, or is that blurry? It's very small, and it's as big as the screen goes. So, OK. Uh, let's go back to the baseline. And I'm going to have you stand up for me. And next time, pick, up, pick somebody who has a strong shoulder. Which shoulder can I test? OK. So you're going to stand here, push up, show me strong arm. Push up, push your arm. Oh, she's strong. We're good. And you're solid as a rock, right? Now, stand on your right foot, we'll just touch you for balance. Yeah, push up. Okay, I won't even touch her. No, 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 don't hold on, just stand on your right foot. Okay, now she's a really good one. Okay, she can't stand on her right foot, right? No, it's okay, just you keep those shoes. Okay, so when I'm done with it, you'll be able to do it. Okay, but the point is, she can't, without resistance, she really can't stand on the foot. So if when we're done with you, I can do it with resistance, then we know we've done something. 
Okay, the systems that come up weak are joint resonance. Well, unless we have a specific joint problem, it's not telling us which joint, we, I can't test that one directly. Pancreas, I can test. Okay, so, so the pancreas, it relates to the spleen meridian or the latissimus dorsi. So we're gonna turn this way, and since this is the good shoulder, you're gonna turn your hand in. Okay, now keep your elbow straight, push in, into your body, I'll go down, push in, push in, no, no, you push in. There you go, and you're weak. Push in again, push on your Okay, not very strong, right? Just remember that. No balance, weak latissimus dorsi. Okay, small intestine is a, uh, an issue that is gonna improve a little bit. So you got something going on digestive-wise that, that this isn't gonna fix this time around. It's gonna help it a little bit. But kinesiologically, is a great one to test. And then we got the spleen meridian, as we, we just tested, and we have the thymus. Thymus is you're fighting an infection or you have chronic infections, one or the other. Okay, hold on a second. So, now I'm gonna put my hand on the reflex right here, push up. That goes with it, push up. That goes with it, push up. That's really good, right? But if I take my hand away, push up, you're still strong, right? Okay. And thymus is right here, push up. And that goes with it too. So, what we just had is, we tested muscles that relate to the meridians or the organ systems. I'm gonna place this laser on the plate and then you're gonna just make the, a laser remedy. Now, what the unit is doing is it's gonna imprint all of the remedies that we just saw there into the laser. Okay. And then we're gonna to go to the emotional issues. Okay. Yeah, you got it started? Okay. And Start. So let's just go down the list and see what else we can come up with. We went through the body systems, and we know that there's um, definitely something going on, small intestine, probably uh, a major digestive issue, and we're looking at the spleen pancreas, so which means either that you're not producing enzymes, digestive enzymes, or you've got blood sugar issues. Now, when we go over here, that's, okay, that's complete, good. Uh, it also shows that you have a non vertebral misalignment of the fingers. What's your finger problem? Hmm? She just broke the thumb. Yeah, so that's... Okay, now does it hurt? Okay. That doesn't pop up that much, but when it pops up, it's significant. My favorite was I'm treating a physical therapist, and she has uh, every condition that you know. Okay, I put her on here and I said, you got a real problem with your digestive tract. She says, I know. I said, what is it, irritable bowel, Crohn's? She says, no, irritable bowel, really bad. Okay. This came up colon, came up small intestine, came up stomach. When all three come up, it's usually one of those. So we treat her, and within a week, her digestion is improving dramatically. Her balance improved immediately. And she also had a lot of emotional issues. And interestingly, this was right on the nose. We're going to check you for that one. Yours don't come up emotionally as your primary issue. Some people will. Uh, and then one day we're doing this and it, it reads out ankle misalignment. So I said to her, do um, you have any problems with the ankles? And she says, my ankles have been misaligned since I was 12 years old. <laughs> now, this is when I first got to the internet, testing people just to see what it will do. And we treated her and amazingly, like her ankle pain just dissipated. So first, her irritable bowel syndrome disappears and she had that her whole life. Then the next one. And then it was one thing after another after another until she was almost like a normal person. The emotional stuff I'd love to get into, but we won't. Uh, this has a phenolic sensitivity. Now, phenolics are chemical compounds. I got this unit when I was doing some clinical research for hypertension. And it was, you know, doing...